Some people don't know what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a righteous person or a person with a good heart. Even though you're perfect and you sinful. And a lot of people might just know you as your sin. They don't know you as your good heart and all that stuff. Some people see what they want to see. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they around you every day, but they don't see you clearly. You know what I'm saying? They don't see you. Um, so, you know, they don't know that you're struggling and what you're going through or with your family or with your life, with yourself with your sins, they don't know that. All they see is what they wanna see when they hang around you. <clears throat> but it's a battle living in this earth and most people, they don't know if you work together, starting with your family, if you work together, you can get a lot done. You can get a lot done if you work, if you work with your family. Starting with your family then helping other people, you know, <clears throat> And we always base people worth on their money, looks, and status. I've been saying that for a long time. Long time, man. And you don't know how special people are because all we see is titles. All we see is, oh, he not a, he's a lawyer, she's a lawyer, doctor, money, big house. And you're ready to kiss their behinds. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how God can work through anything. And you never know. When you're entertaining an angel, you never know when you're entertaining an angel. Somebody could be an angel and you won't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody can be an angel and you're talking to an angel. You know what I'm saying? You're thinking they homeless. You know what I'm saying? You're thinking they homeless. You're thinking they this and that. You're so judging. we so trained in this evil demonic matrix to, to base our worth on how people view us. We so we base other people worth on on that superficial stuff. You know, listen to this homeless man right here that that shook the world up. Just listen to this little clip and uh I'll be right back with you. This look just like y'all got. That's serious intense look. Because he's trying to find his way, he's trying to figure it out. It's frustrating. I'm trying to listen to God. I, I got my own flesh and my Pulling me here, my own desires, my family, my friends, all these things is, is, is distracting me from the truth. And it's difficult. Most of us want it all. Everything gets old. Everything gets old. New car, new house. And what is it worth if you can't show nobody? If, if you don't love people, if you just trying to show off to people, you don't know how nice of something you are if all you have is just you in there. You need people to know that you got something nice. To hear, ooh, this is a nice house. Look at your car. Where'd you get them rims from? You need to hear all that. You need to hear all that. So you need people. All that, I don't need nobody. What you do? If nobody was on the earth, would you really be still dressing up? For who? What are you dressing up for? What are you trying to do? What are you dressing up for? So people need people, man. We so ungrateful. We just never get enough. All we doing, we always worrying about the future. We living for the weekend. Uh, -uh we don't know. We don't know. That's one thing I can say about my father. He lived every day. He lived every day like it's his last. He lived every day like it's his last. You know, and it makes sense. I understand why he do what he do. Um, it, it makes sense. So many people leave millions behind saving up for something, thinking this and that. It's nothing wrong with saving for a rainy day if you like. But I tell you, you have to live today. You have to learn how to live each day. Because if you don't, if you don't, if you don't learn how to live each day, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem, man. Because tomorrow that promise, man. And God rewards. He rewards the righteous. He rewards, he, he rewards the humble. And he rewards the appreciative. If you don't appreciate the gifts that God gave you, it may not be that man's gift. It may not be that man's gift. You may not get famous. You may not get billions of dollars. But you may live to 300, 
You may be for, live a fulfilled life, a happy life. Count your blessings, man. Be grateful. And be appreciative. And in order to have the kingdom on the heart of a child, in, in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, you have to have the heart of a child. How, how many people you know have the heart of a child? Not too many. Hey, much love to y'all. I'm Alan Ray in there. Stay prayed up. Check out this last video. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, much love. Follow me on Instagram at Alan Ray in there show. Uh, the links is inside. Um, the link to my Facebook, the link to my Instagram. Instagram, we do a consultation. Um, you can get my latest health and relationship techniques and products. Um, yeah, Instagram, we can do it all, man. Um, so hit me up on Instagram. Uh, a lot of guys, they get in my... Um, my, the food that I eat, I've been telling people, the food I eat, they've been giving me a $20 donation, and I tell them the food I eat. Three things I've been eating every day. Once I realize what they've been doing to me, I've been making my hand bone thicker and longer on an on a, on a erection. Uh, it's two inches thicker, two inches longer. You know, a lot of guys don't know that they got that extra down there that, that stinks, that's stuck in. Whatever I'm eating has helped getting that out. That extra two inches that's been jammed up is, is bringing that out. And it bring two inches thicker and... uh. It helped my stomach got flat, everything. Make your stomach get flat. Um, you potent, you be squirting from here to the wall, just ski, oh, ski, 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 ski. So yeah, I tell you the foods, man. Uh, hit me up on Instagram at Alan Ray in that show. It's three foods that I've been eating every day. I walk around with one of them in my pocket all the time, and it's right there. Won't show you though. But hit me up with that twenty dollar donation on Instagram, and I'll show you. Instagram is Alan Ray in this show, and my Facebook is link is in there too. Um, uh, Benguni Magi, that means heaven's water in Swahili. So I'll holler at y'all later, man. Stay prayed up. Don't just watch the video, but hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified when the next video is on deck. All right? Much love. I just say, give me my, my portion for the day. I don't want a lot of things. Just give me enough that I can deal with. He said, I give you, a, but fulfill your bond greater than you can ever ask. I know what you desire. I know what you need. But Lord, give me my portion where I can be grateful. Most people seem to be most concerned about making a living than actually living. Most of people spend every day thinking about the future. They're never enjoying this. They think life starts when they get a degree, when they get money, when they get a house, a car. They put forth, they miss out on all the journey. And then when they get there, they like, this is it? You missed out on all that life. Every day counts because tomorrow not promise. Every day counts because tomorrow not promise. You have to find out what your purpose is and dive in it. You see what I'm saying? Tupac and all them, they say the good die young. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, you have to really analyze you have to really analyze your life and, and make sure you're not just making a living. Because when you get your money, what you going to do? Okay, you got some money. Who you going to spend it on? Your kids? You're going to buy a whole bunch of nice, lavish stuff? How much money are you going to leave to your kids? Is your kids going to do the right thing with the money? So it's not about money in life. Who are you trying to impress? Okay, you... You, you impressed <clears throat> you impressed a few haters. There's nothing wrong with money. I, yeah, I like money. We all like money. But who are we trying to impress? We trying to impress the people. Yeah, I mean, we want to we want to we want to put out the fire in, in the haters' eyes. Yeah, you thought I couldn't do it. Yeah, okay. Then after that, then what? But you gotta enjoy each day because tomorrow may not come. And you you may not get the money. You may not get to spend all the money. The day you get the big check with the money, you may not be able to spend it. You got car accidents, you got this, you got bad food, crazy people. You got a lot of odds out here. Natural weather storm. You don't want to live in fear, but it's a miracle that we still alive. And you watching this video right now. We still breathing. Life is a gift. Life is a gift. You have to really breathe this life up because it's a gift. 
You heard what the homeless man said. I don't know if he's homeless or not. He look homeless. But, I mean, he look homeless and he don't look homeless. He could be an angel. But I do know he's a very extremely wise man. And he got millions and over top of millions of views from his video. That's how wise that video was. Everybody talking about that video. And he just eating a bag of chips. So we don't know if he's an angel or what. Because the Bible talk about be careful entertaining strangers because some of them are angels. You never know who you who you talking to. We're so quick to judge somebody based on how they look, what they have, and all this. But check out this last, this last piece of last clip of talking about him, you know, and then I'll get right back with you. It was the journey. It was the gas station. It's checkers. It's the journey, not the destination. Because the destination is steadily evolving. We always growing in wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It's always evolving. And we can never obtain it because... It I never knew it was something really out here that can actually make your dick a little bigger and your your dick thicker. I mean, I never, I just never could understand. I never could fathom something that really can do that. I've been eating this shit, man, from the store every day. And I just happen to like it. But I didn't realize that. I said, man, why the fuck is all it? My stomach getting flatter and unnecessary fat that I had on my body is disappearing. And I noticed that my dick got longer and my dick got thicker. What the fuck going on here? I started thinking, what have I been doing different? Come to find out, it's that shit I've been eating. If you want to know what I've been eating, Message me is twenty dollars. Message me on Instagram and Allery in that show, all right? And I tell you, this shit is wild, man. Allery brilliant there. That's my guy, man. He's the truth. He wasn't lying, man. Like, really works. I ain't gonna put you on. You gotta do what I did to get on, but definitely gonna get them gains. You might have to tuck your jump off under your belt by your belly button because you're gonna be walking around with a heart on. He was in line, bro. Definitely works. Go check my man out, Allen Rillionaire. One. Hey guys, I've been getting emails about uh, guys that took my hand bone remedy uh, that it's working for them as well. You know, I originally told you guys it was working for me, but it's working for guys from all over the world. So hurry up and message me on Instagram at Allen Rillionaire Show if you want that remedy. It's good for your overall health as well, as well as your hand bone your dick so you can dick and grow and be strong and healthy and you can please the woman you love. Alan Rillionaire Show on Instagram. Hey, what's up? This Alan Rillionaire. I got a Facebook page called Ben Goonie Magi. I want you to follow me on Facebook, okay? And I'll befriend you back, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get closer, okay? I got a Facebook just for you and me, my fans, subscribers, and we're going to have a lot of fun on there. You can speak your mind on there. You can post up. I'll post back. We're going to have that. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description box of the Facebook. But it's um, if I forget to put the link in there, it's Benguni Magi. B-I-N-G-U-N-I Magi. M-A-G-I. M-A-G-I, Magi. Benguni Magi is my, it means heaven's water. It's, um, Benguni Magi is my Facebook page, okay? Much love to you. I holler at y'all. I'm out.